Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. In a recent video, I talked about portals and address numbers and how certain places carry specific vibrations and how these vibrations can assist us along our way. Activation is what I want to talk about in this video. So I believe just like how spaces and places can support certain things within us or trigger certain things within us, I believe that certain people in our lives serve as triggers. These people are here to pretty much trigger a gift within you that you might not have been aware of. But we are also activators showing up and influencing other people's lives and pretty much setting them on their path whether we are aware of it or not. And because whatever trait is that we possess comes so natural to us, we won't even know that we are activating them. Or sometimes they won't even know that they are activating us. But yes, I believe that we work as activators. A lot of the times we might believe that our relationships are meant to make us happy when really they're there to trigger us, get our attention, and help us to become more aware of who we are and become more curious about our human experiences because of the challenges that we face in different situations. When the number seven or people who are strongly associated with the number seven enters into your life, best believe they are going to make you question yourself. They're going to make you question life. They're going to make you question everything that can be questioned. So that's everything. The number seven is very introspective. And whenever we cross paths with people who are strongly associated with the number seven, they trigger the detective within us. They trigger our curiosity when it comes to spirituality. And when I say spirituality, for me, spirituality means one's interest in wanting to know more about themselves and pretty much their energetic makeup. So for me to be spiritual means to be, to be aware of the inner workings of us as humans. So basically we're all spiritual. We're all spiritual beings, but what makes us, some of us spiritual and some of us not, I feel like those who are spiritual are those who are curious about basically their inner making, their, the, the, the energetic parts of us that makes us up. I feel like that's what makes a person spiritual and one not. Because one person is more aware or wants to be more aware and understand themselves deeper on a metaphysical level where the person who could care less, I believe they're not, they're not spiritual because they are not owning that side of themselves. So we're all spiritual, but some of us own it and dive into it and some of us do not. So people with strong number sevens, when they enter into your life, they are going to encourage you to question everything. They're going to encourage you to think for yourself. They're going to encourage you to pretty much not be nobody's yes man. It's like, yes, the number one energy will encourage you to assert yourself and be a leader and not a follower. But the number seven is going to encourage you to pretty much follow the beat of your own drum and the way how they will encourage you to follow the beat of your own drum is to question everything, to reason. The number seven will teach you how to become a better reasoner. Because, because if you have a parent or even a child that has a strong number seven, they're going to ask you why for everything. They're going to want to know why did you do it? Why, 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 why? Like that's their biggest thing. Why? You know, so with someone constantly asking you why, this forces you to go within yourself and to reflect on why. So yeah, whenever, if ever a number seven person comes into your life, they will 
trigger the spiritual the spiritual being that exists within you they will trigger your inner jesus your inner buddha your inner your inner whatever spiritual leader or guide that we all have within us they will trigger that because i believe that like buddha and jesus and i hope i'm not offending anyone by saying this but i believe that they exist as guides guides showing us that basically our path to having a deeper relationship with the creator is one that is personal and individual and it's an individual journey it's and and i feel like that's their example and yeah they were all on the journey the journey of the they were all on a spiritual journey and spiritual journey meaning they were all on a journey to understand themselves on a deeper level searching for god within that's how i see that however you see it i would like to hear it from you but yeah so i feel like whenever the number seven shows up in your life it's to remind you to go within for all of the answers that you need. It's to remind you to be self-reliant. It's remind it's reminding you, excuse me, it's triggering the inner genius within you because for every question, the answer already exists within us. And that's what the number seven knows for sure. That the answer is within us. So the number seven is not going to show up and just follow the leader just because. The number seven is going to show up and want to know why are we following that leader? What makes them a leader? And why I can't go that way just because everybody is going that way. And once you give the number seven all the facts, the number seven is going to take all that in, digest it, make sense of it and based on the sense that the number seven makes of everything you said and what they're observing what they're feeling and what they know to be true within themselves they'll make the decision from that so yes the number seven is going to show up and teach you to pretty much trust yourself trust your judgment and use reasoning and intuition for everything thank you so much for watching stay curious Please be sure to like, subscribe to my channel, and comment below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.